Hi, this is Heather from heathercristo.com and today we are making roasted acorn squash with a mint almond pesto and sprinkled with pomegranate seeds. It's so beautiful and festive in color. It's gluten-free, vegan, Whole30 friendly, paleo friendly, and delicious. It's really good. Okay, let's get started. First, we're gonna take this acorn squash, which I've cut into wedges, and drizzle it with olive oil. And I like to just toss it with my hands to get it well coated so it'll get nice and caramelized on the outside. And then I'm gonna just sprinkle it with kosher salt pretty generously so it has lots of flavor. I've preheated the oven to 400 degrees and I'm just gonna put that in there for about 15 minutes to roast. While the acorn squash is roasting, I'm gonna make the mint almond pesto. I'm gonna start with the garlic cloves, two garlic cloves. And I actually like to pulse these first to make sure that they're well diced because you don't want chunks of garlic in there. Okay, once that's done, then I'm really gonna start. So I'm gonna add, um, this is flat leaf parsley, just roughly chopped. And then I've got two cups of fresh mint leaves that I pulled off the stem. This is what makes the pesto so refreshing and something a little different in flavor than you're expecting. These are slivered toasted almonds, but if you are allergic to nuts, then pumpkin seeds would be a really good alternative. This is fresh lemon juice. And then this is olive oil, which I'm gonna add. And then you wanna do a generous sprinkle of kosher salt, and you'll probably need to add a little more when you taste it. You wanna just scrape it down. So one more pulse. So here is the roasted acorn squash. And I'm just gonna flip it. See, it's really golden on the other side. It's a nice caramelized edge. So now you're gonna take this pesto and just spoon it over the top. Now I like to take just a few fresh mint leaves and use them for garnish. And then my favorite, the pomegranate seeds. Not only are they a really beautiful pop of color, but that sweetness and the juiciness and the little bit of bitterness with the other flavors is beautiful. The final touch is a little drizzle of olive oil. This one has a little bit of spice to it. There you go. Such a beautiful holiday side dish, friendly for everybody and absolutely delicious.